Good morning. It is Tuesday, January 10th. Today on the menu is a six mile run, easy pace, in the cold, in the dark. Looking forward to it. Okay, okay. So this is week two of the vlog. I think last week went well. Thank you to everyone who watched. Appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate all the feedback suggestions, things like that, keep them coming. Definitely wanna improve this. I think two things that stood out to me. One, it's kind of tough with how dark it is. I can't really show as much as I'd like to. I have the GoPro Hero 9 and it's actually terrible in low light, which is really disappointing. I've heard the new ones are a little bit better, but this one stinks in the dark. The second thing is I'm not really training for anything specific right now. So most of my videos are gonna be me doing an easy six mile run which isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but once I do get to my marathon training plan, I think it'll be more exciting. Different types of runs, speed workouts, tempo runs, different distances, and I can talk more about that. But until then, it's gonna be a lot of six miles, but that does give me time to get better at making these types of videos, get more efficient, make them more interesting before I actually get to the stuff I really wanna to talk to. So thanks again for, for watching. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Good morning. It is Thursday, January 12th. Six mile run today, easy pace. Again, feeling good, nice and warm out. Actually overdressed, I feel kind of hot, but I'm not gonna complain about that because this is, this is great weather. 40s, mid 40s, perfect running weather. So we'll see what the run brings us today, if anything. That was a nice one. Love that. Love when someone runs a stop sign and then stares me down as if I'm somehow in the wrong or I mildly inconvenience someone at a four-way stop. Love that. And that's why I carry a camera. And that's the thing. I want to be positive. I want to have fun. I want to joke around. I don't want to be like every other super serious running YouTube channel. But man, when you almost get hit by a Ford Explorer every day, <laughs> it gets a little frustrating. Train, train talk. Welcome to train talk. Short one today, thank goodness. I almost never get past when I run, but zone two training, gotta stick to it. I say disciplined, can't let the competitive voices win. Not today at least. Anyway, that should wrap it up for today. Nice little run, great weather, nothing to complain about. I will see you tomorrow, bright and early, dark and early actually. Although it is getting lighter as the days go on, which makes me very happy because running in the dark is fun a couple times, but I like being able to see what's in front of me. So I will see you tomorrow starting right now. All right, my first McDonald's in forever. It's good. Now it's really good. Way better than Chick-fil-A. Tastes just like I remember it. All right, so I'm in Grand Rapids, and they have this Starbucks where you have to order online and just pick it up. Kind of an interesting concept, but that's my, that's my coffee this morning. I was gonna run, but I don't know. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna run. It's a, got a big day ahead. I wanna save my energy, stay rested. Tomorrow, I'll run. There's always tomorrow. Interesting little, little concept. They don't need much space. It's basically just a place to make the coffee and pick it up. All right, hotel coffee. This is the original Nespresso. I hope I'm doing this right. What do we got? We have... Inspirazione Rizzaretto. This one is Volato Decaffeinato. So throw those out the window. And then this one is Tokyo Lungo. So we're gonna go with uh, this one, the Inspirazione Rizzaretto. All right, so we just drop it in there. Put that thing. 
Um, I don't know which cups. I think it's this one. Okay. Also, dare relief. This is key. Key for travel. I am immune to milk-based disasters with these. Th this product, I highly endorse any kind of lactase enzyme supplement. <laughs> Saves my life. Oh yeah, the raw power of the original espresso machine. That's it? Oh, that's not good. Something ain't right. Is it an espresso? Like an espresso? Are all original Nespresso machines espresso only? Honestly, I have no clue. Um, but it stopped pouring, so try it out. That's definitely espresso. Ooh, that's good. I haven't had espresso in a little while. I switched mostly to coffee, but that's good. 10 out of 10. Mm. All right, Nespresso Hotel Coffee. High marks. Hello. Happy Monday. This is probably, I think this is the first run I've gone on for this vlog when the sun has been out, so it's wonderful. I am way overdressed. I have my warmest running jacket, my warmest gloves. I have my neck thing, hat. I could have been good without all of this stuff, but it is what it is. So this week's vlog is probably gonna be a little bit shorter just because I haven't run a whole lot this week. It's been busy. I was out of town for a wedding. Just not a lot of, not a lot of running going on this week. I did plan ahead. I packed two sets of running clothes in my suitcase. Guess how many times I ran? Zero times, but that's okay. It's January. January running is all about sort of keeping the, the flame lit, just kind of staying relatively in shape so I can head into my training and not taste blood when I do my first run. So today I'm running six miles, easy pace, pretty typical stuff right now. What I really want to talk about is a little more behind the scenes. That's kind of what I want to do with these vlogs is not just talk about like running, but talk about kind of like the YouTube channel, video ideas, stuff like that as a whole. And I have some disappointing news. So in my last vlog, I talked about how I got a thousand subscribers, which is a great milestone. And one of the things about getting a thousand subscribers means you can apply to be a YouTube partner, which means you can monetize your channel. So once I hit a thousand, I applied. I had the watch time, I had the subscriber count, I had everything I thought I needed. I applied and about a week later, I heard back and I was rejected. So in the email, it was super vague. It said just like channel does not meet community guidelines. I have no copyright strikes. All my content is like family friendly. I have the watch time. I have the subscribers. Every criteria that I'm supposed to meet, I met. So I don't really know what to do. I can apply a month after my application was rejected. So I'll do that again. But I don't know. I did hours of research trying to figure out what I did wrong. A lot of times people say that like the content is too repetitive, which maybe I do too many shoe reviews. I'm not really sure. I don't know what to do. It's very disappointing. And I'm not trying to get monetized so that I can, you know, make millions of dollars, but I do want to use it to sort of fund my running and fund my videos, race entry fees, shoes, gear, stuff like that. But if I can't monetize it, my motivation to keep making videos and putting the time and effort into this goes down a lot. It really stinks. So we'll see. I'm going to apply again, but if anybody has any advice, for why my channel might not have made the community guideline criteria, let me know. I'll keep applying, see what happens. I already changed some of the titles of the videos so they're a little less repetitive, but we'll see. All right, so I'm feeling good. Weather's nice, it's sunny. It's a rare occurrence in January, so I'm gonna run eight instead of six. And that's the beauty of off-season running. You can do whatever you want. So my GPS paused for about a quarter mile. So at the end of the year, when I look at the amount of miles that I've run, just remember, I have an extra quarter mile I need to tack onto that total. So that is the vlog for this week. Thanks for watching. Like I said earlier, I did not run a ton this week, but I'm looking forward to getting back at it next week. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.